deep down and other extreme places to live. Life on Earth Most people on Earth live where it never gets very hot or very cold. More than half of all people in the world live on or near cities. More than half of all people in the world live within a hundred miles of the sea. Many of Earth's people live in quite similar places. When you watch a TV show, the places in which the characters live often don't look very different from where you might live. But if you look down at Earth from above, you wouldn't see many cities. A lot of Earth is jungle, mountains, deserts, or large areas of snow. What would it be like to live in some of these areas? Let's meet some people living in extreme places. Life at the bottom of the canyon. Deep down at the bottom of the Grand Canyon, there is a village called Supai. You can only get to it by foot, horse, mule, or helicopter. The people who live there call themselves the Havasupai. This means the people of the blue-green water. The blue-green water is the beautiful Havasu Creek that flows through the canyon. There are also four spectacular waterfalls that tumble down into the canyon. The water keeps the land around the village green. Many people call this place a paradise, but living in a place that is so hard to get to has its problems. The Havasupai Claim to Fame The Havasupai are the people of the blue-green water. History Havasupai have been living in the Grand Canyon for more than 1,000 years. Industries Farming, Hunting, and Tourism A remote paradise? From the air, the Havasupai Creek looks like an emerald snake slithering between dry red rock. In the past, the Havasupai farmed crops such as corn, squash, and fruit during the spring and summer. In fall and winter, the Havasupai moved higher up the canyon. They would hunt deer for food. Supai Village Location On the Havasupai Reservation near the southwest corner of the Grand Canyon National Park. Population Around 450 tribal members. Claim to fame 3,000 feet down at the bottom of the canyon. Closest neighbors, three to five hours away by foot, horse, or mule. As the tribe grew, the Havasupai began to run out of farmland. This was not the only problem. Sometimes the canyon would flood too, damaging crops. They needed to find a new way to survive at the bottom of the canyon. You've got mail. Letters addressed to Supai are brought by mule train. It is the last U.S. Postal Service mule train left in the country. The Blue-Green Water Nowadays, the Havasupai make a living from tourism. The famous canyon attracts more than 20,000 visitors per year. Most visitors make the three- to five-hour journey to Supai on horseback or mule. The Havasupai now run campgrounds, a cafe, a trading post, and a lodge. The Four Falls Supai Falls, closest to the village, Navajo Falls, a quarter mile beyond Supai Falls, Havasu Falls, three quarters a mile beyond Navajo Falls, Mooney Falls, one mile beyond Havasu Falls. It is the highest of the falls at 190 feet high. Surviving in one of Earth's hottest spots. In the middle of the Great Rift Valley in Ethiopia is the Donakil Depression. This region looks like a different planet. It is one of the hottest spots on Earth. It is heated from above by the sun and from below by lava flows. You would think that nobody would live here, but it is home to the Afar. The Afar are nomadic people who come to the Donakil Depression every day to mine salt. The Donakil Depression. Claim to fame. Daily temperatures of more than 120 degrees Fahrenheit. Altitude, 300 feet below sea level. Rainfall, less than 7 inches a year. Closest city, McKeel, 60 miles away. Not a cool breeze. Fire winds blow through the Donakil Depression. They are said to feel like a tornado in an oven. Afar Gold, 10,000 years ago, the Donakil Depression was part of the Red Sea. 
the waters have evaporated and left behind salt flats. To the afar, this salt is like gold. Until recently, blocks of salt called amole were used as money in Ethiopia. Today, northern Afar people still earn money from selling salt. Camel Caravans Every day, Afar miners come to the salt flats with around 2,000 camels and 1,000 donkeys. They transport amole into the cities. The salt blocks are cut by hand. Everybody in the community takes part. The walk from town to the salt flats and back can take six days. The salt trade. Weight of one salt block, or mole, about nine pounds. Number of blocks per camel, 30. Distance traveled per day, 15.5 miles. What is life like in an Ari? The Afar cross the Donakil Depression to mine salt. They then sell it in the cities. The Afar can do this because they bring their homes with them. They pack their houses, called Aris, into the back of their camels. They usually put up their Aris around wells. The Aris are round, like igloos, and are made from light palm matting. They provide welcome shade in which to cook, eat, and sleep. What's cooking? What the Afar usually eat. Meat. What they eat it with. Thick wheat pancakes. What the Afar drink. Milk. How the Afar say welcome. They give their guests a drink of milk. Herding animals. In addition to mining salt, most Afar herd sheep, goats, cattle, and camels. Roaming in the Arctic Circle. Did you know there are people who use reindeer to pull their sleds? The Sami people do this. In the past, the Sami spent their lives roaming the Arctic. They followed the enormous reindeer herds. The Sami Homeland. Claim to fame. This is the farthest north that human beings live, 200 miles north of the Arctic Circle. Area. Around 150,000 square miles, about the size of Norway. Countries. Sampi, the Sami name for this area, spreads across what is now northern Norway, Sweden, Finland, and Russia's Kola Peninsula. Underneath the midnight sun, the Sami live so far north that in the summer, the sun never sets. The Reindeer Walkers The Sami call people who herd reindeer, Bozavazi. This means reindeer walkers. The herders used to follow the reindeer by foot or on skis. They now use snowmobiles to herd their reindeer. An all-in-one animal. Reindeer provide the Sami with meat, hides, and antlers. Most reindeer are allowed to roam free. Some are kept for milking and to pull sleds. Some reindeer can even be saddled like horses. The many uses of reindeer. Food. Reindeer meatballs, reindeer sausage, and smoked reindeer are all very popular. Milk. Reindeer can be milked like cows. Medicine. Reindeer antlers are sold to China because many Chinese people believe that antlers have medicinal properties. Clothing. Reindeer have hair that are hollow and filled with air. This trapped air makes reindeer fur very warm. Transport. Reindeers can be trained to pull sleds. Larger species can be ridden like horses. Tools. Traditionally, reindeer bones were made into tools, such as needles and knives. That's not a teepee, that's a lavet. While moving their herds, the Sami still live in cone-shaped tents. These are called lavets. A lavet can stand winds that are 50 miles an hour. The top of each lavet is open to let out the smoke from large fires. Can I please take a look at your gakti? The lavet is not the only part of Sami life still in use today. The traditional Sami clothing is called the gakti. It is still often worn on special occasions. The collars, patterns, and buttons of a gakti are a code. They can tell you whether the person is married and which village he or she comes from. Why the pointy toes? The turned-up pointy toes of a traditional Sami reindeer skin boot are designed to hook into skis. Round or square buttons. Traditionally, square buttons mean a person is married. 
Round buttons mean a person is not married. What's it like where you live? Now you've seen some of the extreme places where people live. What do you think might be extreme about your neighborhood? To an afar child, where and how you live might look pretty different. Many people on this planet have never seen some of the things you probably see every day. Imagine meeting someone from the Sami or Afar tribe. What would seem extreme to them about your normal life? Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this book, please check out the links in the description below on how you can get your own copy. And make sure to check out my merch shop while you're there. Again, thank you for listening. Please like, share, and subscribe.